Anna, very, very nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you as well. I picked up Vanity Fair, and you are in there featured as one of comedy's new legends, compared to Goldie Hawn. How does that make you feel? Intimidated. A little. I, I'm not sure I can fill those kinds of shoes. Really, um, really grateful though. I, I never thought of myself as a funny person. I, I didn't do comedy growing up, so I think it's sort of come as a surprise, definitely to me, certainly to my family and, and my friends growing up. Uh, but I, I'm. I get so much joy out of it, so I feel very, very, very flattered. It's so weird that you say that because you've starred in like so many comedies. You're also in Brokeback Mountain. You were amazing in that movie. Oh, thank you. Amazing. But in with your comedy, it seems like it's just so second nature to you. So how did you discover that this is? What I the only thing I've been able to the only thing that seems logical is that I'm the most willing actress that's out there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do that. Vomit coming down the side of my mouth, that's fine, I'll do that. Oh, um, oh that was awesome. <laughs> I know, it's so so wrong. But um I always think like I got that role because nobody else wanted to do that. No, there's no <laughs> what comedians or actors do you look up to? Um, well, of course, you know, Goldie Hawn. I grew up watching Lucille Ball, oh, and yeah. um, and I love, you know, Judy Holliday and Carol Lombard, and um, and I love, um, you know, our, my contemporaries, too. I love Kate Hudson and yeah. Isla Fisher, and um, so I, I, it's, it, and Tina Fey, of oh, course. Oh, she's and amazing. She is. So, I, you know, I, it's nice to be a part of a, a group of females there's not too too many of us out there sort of doing comedy, and it's I feel really honored and flattered to be a part of, of that 